back to another winter day adventure. Today we're in St. Paul, Minnesota again to visit the St. Paul Winter Carnival, which is different than a festival. Yeah, it's different things. Different. Here they've got some food trucks, some booths with different companies, people playing music, a ton of ice sculptures, and there's a big parade that we're gonna see later on tonight when it gets dark. So come along with us today. One thing I'll tell you is that more likely than not, you're going to have to pay for parking. So make sure you have that into your budget. There's some of my favorite breweries. Lift Bridge. Lake Monster, bad weather, all wonderful. So it's getting dark, the parade's about to start. We are gonna go head over to where they have the cool reenactment, try to get a good spot. So if you're here in St. Paul to check out the parade and you cannot handle the cold, there's always the option to come up into the skyways that run around the city and watch the parade from up here. We're just waiting now for the parade to start and then there's like some reenactment thing of the Vulcans taking over the, the king. It's some weird, it's gonna... kooky, traditional things that happen here every year in St. Yeah. Paul. It's a, it's a Minnesota thing. Okay, so here's a quick backstory on the St. Paul Winter Carnival. In 1885, this total jerk reporter from the New York Times called St. Paul, and I quote, another Siberia unfit for habitation. Well, the rough and tumble snow loving inhabitants of Minnesota thought that was just outright ridiculous and decided to throw a carnival to show the rest of the country that we are, in fact, able to leave our homes once or twice during the winter months in Minnesota. So in 1886, the city of St. Paul put together a 10 day carnival to celebrate winter sports and activities. The carnival was held on and off to varying degrees of success throughout the following years, but now takes place in and around downtown St. Paul and the surrounding suburbs, with a winter carnival king crowned each year named King Boreas. The legend of the carnival goes like this. One day, long ago, King Boreas, aka the King of the Winds, traveled to the seven hills of St. Paul, Minnesota, and thought it was kind of freaking amazing, so he decided to lay claim to the land. He assigned each of his four brothers to claim dominion over the four winds sweeping the area. Titan was given the north wind, Eros was given the east wind, Zephyrus controlled the west wind, and Nodos commanded the south wind. Boreas and his court of airbenders partied hard for like 10 days straight until... The god of fire and King Boreas' arch nemesis Vulcanus Rex decided it was time to shut the whole thing down. On the final day of the celebration, Vulcanus Rex, who I suppose represents the coming warmth and heat of summer, overthrew King Boreas and his court on the steps of the Great Ice Palace. So every year, King Boreas bides his time until he and his court can return to party in St. Paul in the winter, and every year Vulcanus Rex overthrows the king and sends him back to Olympus. And that's what the strange chaotic recreation and celebration represents.
The king has been overthrown. Taking you now to the actual location here in downtown St. Paul, where King Borealis was just overthrown by the Vulcans. Right here on this spot, on these steps, everything happened. It was really pretty intense and exciting. All right, guys, that was the St. Paul Winter Carnival. It's fun. We saw the king get overthrown. Yep, by the Vulcans. By the Vulcans. And it was, uh, it was quite an experience to see this, I guess. It's kind of chaotic at the end there, and it got a little crazy, and that was fun. <laughs> yeah, it did. So. That's super crazy. Andrea, thoughts? It was amazing. There were so many people, and it got so busy. And there were fireworks in the middle of downtown St. Paul, which I did not expect. Yeah. Thank you again for watching. We're so happy that you're coming on all these adventures with us. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Check out that Instagram. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Wait, wait. We'll catch you in the next one. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.